if you're a married woman, even if you have kids, I want to encourage you to keep working or at least preserve your ability to earn your own money. In my day job, I am a CPA and I help um, women navigate the financial implications of divorce, okay? I try not to let this turn me into a totally jaded person with no romance. <laughs> but, um, you know, things can, can go to crap, frankly, in a number of ways, right? Sure, divorce, but death and disability. And preserving your own ability to earn insulates you from that risk. Um, I also honestly feel like it can make your marriage juicier because you're more confident um, and independent. And so there's a good balance of power. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this isn't to say you shouldn't be a stay-at-home mom. But if you are a stay-at-home mom, consider a side gig or, you know, going back to school so that you can preserve your ability to return to earning when the kids are grown up. <sighs> Think about it. As women, should we rely on men for money? Okay, I'm a CPA and my entire practice is helping women manage the financial implications of divorce. So I will acknowledge that my lens is the opposite of rose-colored. It is gray and I'm an independent person by nature. However, I rely on my husband and he relies on me. And I think that relying on one another is... It's a part of being in an intimate relationship. But if for whatever reason I became unreliable or my husband became unreliable, we would both be okay on our own as well. The dependence we have on one another is, is a choice. It's not a necessity. And that is what I want for women. Um, rely on someone for sure. But if they become unreliable, I want you to be able to stand on your own two feet. 